Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about the roles and responsibilities of Test Architect. This is a new role is being evolved after we are moving to the Agile uh, testing model and DevOps journey. And the more focus is providing for the testing on the hands-on experience and the research should be more technical oriented. So before proceeding further, if you are visiting the Shala YouTube channel for the first time, please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so that you can enhance your testing skills in software testing. So let's move on to understand what are the roles and responsibility of the test architect. The test architect role is a more of a technical in nature where you will be doing all the is roles and responsibilities related to technical area itself. So let's understand one by one what are the things he is going to do as a test architect role. And if you would like to build yourself to the text, te test architect role, then please listen to every activity he is going to perform so that you can groom yourself to this role. So let's move on to understand what the test architect's roles and responsibilities are all about. So if you wanted to become a test architect, you should be a testing subject matter expert. So the testing subject matter expert means you should be well versed in the software testing area. You should know in and out of all the related things in the software testing. That is the first key things you should know. The second is you should be more technical person, not a managing person, right? You are more, you should be inclined towards doing the hands-on work. And this role is not meant for people who wanted to manage the people. And people who are wanted to do hands-on job, then their career will be lifted towards test architect role. This, the third thing here is the test architect. The test architect should be able to define the overall test architecture of the application or the project which is going to which is going to manage. Being a test architect, he has to define the test architecture and he has to know in all the functions both in terms of functional and non-functional testing perspective. He should be an expertise in defining a test architecture. So the fourth important role is of test architect is he should be able to provide st strategic testing goals. So he should be able to provide inputs to senior test manager or, or a manager about his inputs when uh, test manager is going to define a test strategy. He has to he should be able to provide the technical viewpoint of the testing goals which you are going to achieve as part of the overall goals. So next uh, important thing you should, being a test architect should know is, you should know how to design or how to develop the automation test framework. And this is a very important role because he is not just doing manual testing. He is going to do both manual as well as he brings his value addition in the automation as well. Hence, he should have complete hands-on. He should be able to put his hands down to ensure that he designs and develop the automation framework and also he is going to design the test infrastructure to test the product as well as he should be knowing in and out of DevOps journey because this is a ongoing situation because we are adopted agile now with the continuous integration and continuous deployment that is where DevOps test infrastructure is going to help to deploy the build every day and again run our automation scripts day and day out and get the results that would helps to analyze the results and sign up from the testing perspective having a deep domain expertise let's talk about uh, our healthcare domain or you talk about uh, pharmaceutical you talk about banking or you talk about retail domain then if he is going to operate as a test architect then 
you should know whichever the domain is going to work let's say if he is uh, confident in retail then he has to take up the retail domain uh, testing projects otherwise he will fail because being a testing architect you should know in and out of the application as well if you wanted to know the application then you should have a deep understanding on the domain and technical knowledge as well so hence this is very crucial uh, the roles and responsibilities and as i was saying earlier because this roles brings automation then you should have a good uh, control over all the testing tools will be used in the testing the testing tools could be functional testing or uh, it could be automation testing or it could be performance testing tools or it could be test data management tools or it could be defect management tools or it could be test management tools any of these tools you should have complete understanding of all these tools how it can be integrated to each other being a test architect you should be able to um, fill all those gaps if the team is really having any gaps in the uh, test tools with another important thing here is because every applications makes use of databases to link the our application where all the information from the database is getting pulled and uh, pushing back to the databases then you should know how the database been inter uh, interface with the application with the application server and you should be able to know the complete architecture of databases as well as you should know how to write sql queries db queries uh, to get the information and you should, you should also bring a good communication skills you should have good communication skills because he is going to interact with the various stakeholders it could be test manager or it could be development manager or it could be product owners scrum masters or uh, development architects product management right you talk about uh, different people which he needs to interact and he has to buy in various things when he is going to uh, propose things in the testing so i hope you understood the complete details about uh, what all the test architect is is going to do and what all the things he, he is knowledge you should be well versed in the knowledge these things will help you to build your skills also in moving towards a test architect role if you would like to move to this role then please give a much uh, concentrate on improving all these skills and uh, responsibilities uh, or you take up some of this responsibility on the current job and groom yourself towards the test architect role i hope you understood the complete overall concept here and if you are enjoyed watching this video please click on like button the first time testing shala youtube channel then click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to uh, learn uh, software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care